Hello friends, let us use math in our day-to-day -day life. Let us say Aman gets up at 6.45 am and he needs to leave for school by 8.15 am. So how much time does he have to get ready? First we calculate hours. After 6.45 comes 7. So 8 minus 7 is equal to 1 hour. Now we calculate minutes. 8 to 8.15 means 15 minutes. And now calculate minutes between 6.45 to 7. We know 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 7 can be thought as 6.60, right? So 6.60 minus 6.45, 66 are same right so 60 minus 45 is equal to 15 minutes so the total comes out to be 1 hour plus 15 minutes plus 15 minutes which is equal to 1 hour 30 minutes so a man has 1 hour 30 minutes to get ready on his way to school he saw Johnny uncle selling some fruits Johnny uncle says to a man I sold 14 kg apples yesterday. Aman says, awesome. But Aman is wondering, how much did he earn? Let us say 1 kg of apple is sold at 45 rupees. And Johnny uncle sold 14 kg apples. So 45 into 14 will be the total amount he would have earned. Let us calculate that. First, we multiply 4 by 45. So 4 into 5 is equal to 20. 0 is written here and 2 is the carryover. Now 4 into 4 is equal to 16 and 16 plus 2 carryover is equal to 18. So we write 18 here. Now we multiply 1 by 45. So first write 0 or x here, and then 1 into 5 is equal to 5, 1 into 4 is equal to 4. Now let us do the sum, 0 plus x equal to 0, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, 3 is written here and 1 is the carryover, and 1 plus 4 plus 1 carryover is equal to 6. So 630 rupees he earned yesterday. Now a man has reached the school. He meets his friend Rahul. Aman and Rahul decides that they are going to buy a new cricket kit along with their 12 friends. Each wicket will cost rupees 35, a ball will cost rupees 69, and a new bat will cost them 414 rupees. So, how much money will they require? First, let us calculate the amount required for bat and ball 414 plus 69 is equal to 483 rupees now 3 wicket means 35 into 3 each wicket is equal to 35 rupees so 3 wicket will be 35 into 3 which is equal to 105 rupees so the total money required is equal to 483 plus 105 which is equal to 588 rupees. Now there are 14 people, Aman, Rahul and 12 of their friends. So how much each will have to contribute to purchase this cricket kit? 588 rupees required divided by 14. Let's do that. Write 588 divided by 14. Let's do that. 1 times 14 is equal to 14, 2 times 14 equal to 28, 3 times 14 equal to 42, 4 times 14 equal to 56. So we write 4 here and 56 here. 58 minus 56 is equal to 2. Now 8 comes down, it becomes 28. Can do it. 1 times 14 equal to 14, 2 times 14 equal to 28. So we write 2 here and 28 down. Remainder is 0. So everyone has to contribute 42 rupees.
Wow! They will collect the money within this week and then play cricket with the new kit on Sunday. Aman meets his friend Jinu in the afternoon. Jinu is looking very happy today. I have grown 5 cm more. My height is now 1 meter 35 cm, says Jinu. But Aman is just 1 meter 09 cm. So Aman starts calculating how shorter he is. We do it like normal subtraction. Write both the numbers with the bigger number above. Now do the normal subtraction starting from right. 5 minus 9. We cannot do it. We have to borrow from the neighbor 3 which becomes 2 and 1 comes here. So it becomes 15. 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. Now only 3 becomes 2. So 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 and 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So Aman is 26 centimeter shorter than Gino. Aman says, I cannot catch up with you. You are growing too fast, Gino. I am stronger too, says Gino. Look, my bag is 1 kg 200 gram. I brought few vegetables that weighs 2 kg. And I have a cake that weighs another 350 gram. So how much weight am I carrying? Let us find that. We write gram below gram and kg below kg. So 2 kg means 2 kg 000, 000 gram. And we start addition from the right side. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. 2 plus 0 plus 3 is equal to 5. Now we add the kg part. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is equal to 3. So total is 3 kg 550 gram Jinu is carrying. Yeah, he is strong. So children keep doing math all day long. We do it whenever we buy something, measure something or compare something. We cannot live without math. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.